Welcome to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. This class, I am super excited to be collaborating with the amazing Christine Bertram. And this class is our technique class. Hi, Becky. Thank you for joining me. And this is YouTube live. <laughs> Bear with me. This is a new thing for me to do YouTube live, but I'm going to try my best. Please let me know you're here. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you want to chat in the chat box and say hi. Hi, Kathy. I can see your comments. Yay. <laughs> I want to do a huge shout out to everyone who's joining us today for this class. Um, this is a collaboration between myself, Rosemary Coleman, from Canada, and my friend Christine Bertram from the US. We are doing this together um, because as you know, Stampin' Up! only allows us to um, sell or recruit or promote our, our business in our own country. So Christine and I met at Backstage in um, or New Orleans. Hi, Christine. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And we are trying this new collaboration and I'm super excited. So I am honored to teach this class to you today on YouTube Live. First, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the people that signed up for this class um, through Christine. I have a list of names here. I'm going to read them out. And I just want to thank you all for being here. Uh, we have Angela Knudsen, Mary Lemke, Kathy King, Carla Lake, Feline Mays, Becky Rower, um, Christina Hazer, Francis Rod Rodriguez, Beverly Smith, Vicki Rodriguez, Lynn Beasley, and Linda Hunt. So thank you all ladies for purchasing this uh, or joining. This is a club. This is an ongoing technique club, right? So we are going to be doing this monthly. It's a club where you're going to learn a new technique every month. And um, there are perks for being a club member. I also want to do a shout out to my members as well. We have Paula Anderson, Debbie Smith, Jackie Smith, um, Jackie Smiley, uh, Mimi Kung, uh, France Plamadon, I probably said that wrong, sorry France, Penny, um, Penny Lane, Kathy Clark, Colleen Winter, Brenda Smith, Maureen Tremblay, Delia Mullen, Amanda Woods, Kim Baraclow, Joan Wing, Alexina Walsh, Karen Greenhill, and I think that is all I have on my list right now. If I've missed you, I'm so sorry. And you can always uh, reach out to myself or Christine and see if there's any kits left. We do over prep. I know that we do prep, prep extra. So if you want, if you see like what you see today and you want to get this kit and make this these cards yourself, perhaps we will have kits available. So reach out to either Christine uh, Bertram or myself here on the YouTube channel, you can leave a message here um, and I'll upload all of our links as well. So you don't have any leftover for January. Okay, Christine says, she'd, I see your comment there, Christine. I know, and I've already prepped mine too. Um, I don't think I have any DSP left or, um, anyway, you can reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely sign up early for February. Yes, Christine. And at, stay tuned at the end of this video. I'm super excited. I have the cards ready to show you for next month. You're going to want to be in on this class next month because it's beautiful. And we're going to do a new technique every month, as I mentioned. Okay, so we are going to get started. Your extras run away fast. Exactly, Christine, because this class is super, it's going to be great. It's, I'm really, really looking forward to it. So if you have questions, please pop them in the chat box. Um, when I turn my camera down at my work surface, I won't see them right away, but maybe Christine, I know Christine is here. She can answer your questions. Um, if not, I will come back and read all of the comments and reply to everyone. Okay, so we're doing the rock and roll technique this month. I love this technique. It is a, a fun technique that's been around for a long time, but we're going to put a spin on it with the share a milkshake bundle, okay? The kits for February. We'll talk about that at the end, okay, Marsha? Um, 
<laughs> I see everybody's comments. Good morning, Polly. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> it's so good to be here. I am I am new to the YouTube platform, but you know, we're gonna try it out and see how this goes. So hopefully I'll be looking to you for feedback, Christine. <laughs> if anything is wrong or or not quite right, let me know and I will try my best to make changes as we go here. All right, so we're gonna flip the camera so that you can see my work surface and see my hands and we'll get started on our cards. We have three cards in our packages in our um, kits today. So we're gonna pull out each one as we go here. So here we go, bear with me as I flip my camera and point you down at my work surface. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so there's my snowy backyard and I'm going to Point you down here at my work surface and straighten everything up. Get a good view. Hopefully we get a good view of my work surface here. And let's see. Let's see if I can just adjust my camera to give more of, of our grid paper here. Okay, so you can see my hands, <laughs> hopefully. We're going to start off with our one of our cards here. Um, in your package that has the sweet sorbet card base, okay? So that's the one we're going to start with today. So let me just pull everything out. Now, you should have the sweets, the, um, sorry, share milkshake stamp set as well as the dies to cut out your pieces. So there is a PDF that was sent to you. Um, you should be getting that. If you didn't get it already, please reach out to us and let us know. It has all of the instructions and the colors of ink and everything that you're gonna use to make these cards. So if you're watching it on the replay, you can fast forward, you know, pause and make the cards at your own leisure. I have everything cut out in my package here. So I'm gonna pull that out and share with you how to make the first card. So for this uh, card, we're going to need Let's see, what stamps are we going to need? We're going to need the stamp set here the, um, that says Life is Sweeter with You. Now you're going to need Versamark ink and white embossing powder. I've already gone ahead and embossed mine, so you don't have to listen to my heat gun just to make things go a little bit faster for us today. Um, but yeah, you're going to want to stamp this one on Versamark with, <laughs> on Versamark, on soft suede cardstock with your Versamark ink pad. Okay, so let's open this up and I'll pull out all my pieces here. Let's see. So this is sweet sorbet cardstock. It is cut four and a quarter by 11, scored in the middle at five and a half. Then we have a um, card front of Whisper. Nope, not Whisper. Oh my goodness. That's in the back of my mind. Basic white, not Whisper. It's been basic white for <laughs> a long time, you guys. I just revert back. It's in the cobwebs of my brain. This piece is for the inside of your card to do your stamping for your inside greeting. <laughs> You love to you love the rock and roll technique. Yes, it's a fun one. This is our piece that we're going to do our white embossing on. Now, this was punched using the decorative circle punch, this one right here. So this is in your kit. So you can go ahead, if you're stamping along with me, you can go ahead and do your Versamark on here and uh, heat up your stamp. And then I already have one already done on my cardstock here. So I'm just going to slip my punch in here and I'm going to line this up. I love that it fits in this punch perfectly. We're going to pop that out, okay? So that's our greeting. Life is sweeter with you. In your package, you're going to have a heart, one of the heart dies. It could be a medium one. I've got two here. I'm going to use one of the medium ones up here. I'm going to, just going to glue that down with some um, liquid glue. So liquid glue is my favorite. I love my liquid glue because it never lets me down. <laughs> it gives me a little bit of wiggle room and you know, it, it sticks, right? It really, really does stick. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool, another tool, you guys, if you don't have this in your craft room, you definitely got to add that to your next order. It helps with picking up little dies and the share milkshake stamp set and the matching dies, the dies are tiny, right? They're really, really like we've got some, uh, hot chocolate, or hot fudge pieces here that we're going to put on our our pieces today. <laughs> so you definitely want to use your take your pick tool to pick up these little bits. So we have a piece of the um, Country Gingham DSP. You could use the, the sweet sorbet plaid if you want. I'm using the mint macaron plaid. That's going to go at the bottom of our piece here, our basic white front layer. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some glue and I'm gonna glue that down on the front, the bottom down here. Love the cut, all of the, the country gingham stuff is just a country bouquet suite is amazing. It coordinates so well with the country bouquet stamp set, but it also goes super nice with the share of milkshake. So, I mean, I think you need it all, right? <laughs> okay, so let's bring in, I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat. This is one way that I like to save time is by, if you die cut things ahead of time, you can actually stamp on top of them and be prepared. So I have these two smaller ice cream um, shapes and I have them with uh, mint macaron and soft suede. We're gonna do a little tone on tone stamping with that today. So I'm gonna use this stamp right here. Don't forget to mention moving the dates one week for some of our months going to give us a little extra. Yes, 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 Christine. We're going to be changing a couple of some of the dates um, to make this class a little bit later in the month so that we give ourselves time to get these kits out to you guys. So keep keep an eye out for that. We will keep you posted. So here I have soft suede. I'm going to do the little ice cream, make it look like chocolate. We're going to stamp that right on top here. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab my chamois and clean that up real quick. And then I'm going to bring in the matching mint macaron ink here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> mint macaron. Okay, so we've got mint macaron. We're going to do this exact same thing. Just tap, 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 and then stamp right on top of the mint macaron ice cream. Just really makes it pop out nicer. Um, you can see... I'll hold it up closer. Well, you can see that nice image there. So we're going to leave those there. The other thing you need is two of your wafers, your um, waffle cones. I love this die. Look at the texture in it. It's embossed and it, it, it has the embossing here. You can see where, where you can grab your bone folder and fold this up on those lines. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my two little waffle cones here. Just gonna gently start to fold on the score lines until it bends where it's supposed to. And then I'm gonna use my bone folder to curl these up. Just use that like that. And then you can use your liquid glue or if you're in, if you, you know, if you like tear and tape, you can use your tear and tape. I love my liquid glue. So I'm just gonna pop these together like that. Just hold it there for a second. And then we can put our ice cream right inside. Look at that. Now you can put these in with a dimensional. I'm gonna grab a dimensional. You can glue them in with just glue if you want to, but I'm gonna pop mine up, give it a little bit of depth in there. And we're gonna put each of these into, just tuck it right down into the waffle cone, like so. So there's my mint ice cream. And you can, you can take your bone folder and pop it in and just fluff it up again if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do that with the other one. Same thing. We're just going to fold on the score line and then the other score line and then grab my glue. Just glue. It really doesn't matter which flap you glue over, like which one's the top. It's totally up to you. And then hold that in place. These are so cute. Every time I look at them, they, they look like they remind me of that dye we used to have with the swaddle for the baby. <laughs> Anybody still have that one? I think I kept that one. It was, I think it was called All for Baby or something. But you know, you could totally use this and make your own little swaddles for a baby. It's not just an ice cream set, right? <laughs> okay, so we got our two ice creams. I'm going to just put a little tiny dab of glue at the top here. And then I'm going to bring in my Take Your Pick tool. I'm going to pick up those... Um, hot fudge toppings, put them right on top of each one, easy peasy. And of course, no waffle cone treat is complete without a little cherry. So let's put our cherries on top, pick those up and place them right on the top there. Oh my gosh, how fun are these? I love them, <laughs> so fun. Okay, so we've got those. Now we're going to, bring in our card front here. Let's glue this down. This is going to just sit right on the front like this. This is a, a really, um, this is an amazing set. Like I'm definitely going to be keeping this one in my collection. I think it's a keeper. Have, you know, we've had ice cream things in the past with Stampin' Up, but never like this, like with waffle cones and hot fudge and cherries. 
The share a milkshake uh, just totally spoke to me as soon as I saw it. Anybody else agree? Did you have to have it when you saw it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take these two and I'm actually going to use some liquid glue and stick them down. I don't want my card to be like super, super thick, right? That I'm in Canada and Canada Post, oh my goodness, it is super expensive for us. So we just want to make sure we're not adding too, too much bulk to our cards. So we're just going to put this on here like that. And this is another feature about the liquid glue. You can use lots and lots of glue on there because it's going to hold. It will definitely hold. I'm just going to kind of stagger these, overlap them a little bit like that. And then last but not least, we're going to bring in our greeting and pop that up with some dimensionals. And I'm going to use uh, probably, yeah, I'm going to use four dimensionals on here. Make sure this is popped up real good like so. And we'll put this right here. How quick and easy is that, right? Now we didn't do the technique on this card, but oh my goodness, like how sweet. Okay, so this is the inside piece. You can go ahead then and you can stamp whatever greeting you want for your inside. Um, so life is sweeter with you. You could say be my Valentine. Oh, thank you, Kathy. You could say celebrate if it's a birthday. You are the cherry on top. That would work. Any of the inside greetings would work, right? And then you can also stamp some of the other images as well. I'm going to leave mine blank because I'm not really sure what I want to use my card for. It's probably going to be a birthday card. Could be a Valentine's card um, coming up. That's what I love about this set. It's not just Valentine's. It's not just anything, right? It can be used for any kind of a card. And it could even be used for masculine if you wanted it to be to be a masculine card. Masculine, kids, feminine, uh, it all works. So there's our first card. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that one over here. Let's move on to our second card. We're gonna bring in the um, rock and roll technique now. So let's grab your card base that has the mint macaron. It's a mint macaron color. In your card package, you're gonna have your mint macaron card base. We're going to have, I have all my little pieces here. Um, the card front layer, the first layer is a sweet sorbet layer, four by five and a quarter. That's gonna go on here. You also have a layer that is our basic white and it's been embossed with the gingham embossing folder. I love, love, love this folder. So the texture is just amazing. It adds such a good depth to the background. So that's just gonna go right on here. Thank you, Linda. I'm so happy you like this one. <laughs> I am totally in love with this set. I definitely need to do some scrapbook pages with this one. If you're a scrapbooker, this is definitely a must have with all of the matching paper, all of it, right? You need all the details, all the dies. I couldn't stop when I was designing these cards. I just had to use all the little dies. I thought Christine was not gonna wanna work with me when <laughs> I sent her the pictures because of all the little pieces, right? But we both agreed that it's just so stinking cute that you can't leave any of these dies out. So here we are. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this onto the card front. Let's go ahead and put this right onto our mint macaron card base. All right, so there we have that. We're just going to put that off to the side for a second. Let's look at this, this bit here. We've got, this is for the inside. This is for our greeting. Um, you can do that. You, you have the stamps and dies, I'm assuming, because you've purchased this one, right? But, oh, no worries, Mary. Welcome, welcome. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> I have here on my silicone mat, these are the dies already cut out. And I also have the heart punches. This is the scallop matching with the regular heart size for the height, heart punch, excuse me, heart punch for the front. And then look at this gorgeous lattice. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. It totally looks like wafers. You know, like you can use this. I've used this on other cards. It's not just for share a milkshake. I really think this is an amazing die. Okay, so I want to share with you how you can get ahead of the game if you want, if you're having, you know, maybe you're having your granddaughter, your niece come over and do some stamping and you want to be prepared. You can cut out your dies. When you're dealing with photopolymer stamp sets, you can get ahead of the game and cut out your dies ahead of time, right? So I have done that. I'm going to stamp, first I'm going to stamp my milkshake glass here. And in the stamp set, I want to point this out. 
there are two stamps because I've had several customers ask me, well, why is this one off? Is it supposed to be? Yes, it's designed that way. It's supposed to give the detail and I'm gonna share with you how this goes together. So this is the background one. So we wanna stamp that first and we want a light image for the background. So we're gonna stamp off this one and then we're, then we're gonna do this one in straight color, okay? So right out of the ink pad. So let's bring in our mint macaron ink pad and I'm gonna pick up this one. I've got it. It fits perfectly on block H. So if you don't have any block H's, you definitely want to order some because these are perfect for greetings. They're perfect for this type of, um, you know, the milkshake glass. I love it. So I'm going to stamp off. So I'm going to use my grid paper here. I'm just going to stamp my first one on the grid paper. And then my second one is going to be immediately onto the die cut. So if you are, if you don't have your die cuts done, um, I know Christine and I chatted yesterday and you have plenty of white cardstock to be able to stamp this and then run over to your mini boss <laughs> and run this through, okay? So there's our background, just a light mint macaron. Then we're going to bring in the accent one, the top stamp, and we're going to ink that up straight color right out of the ink pad and we're going to hover right over top and I'm just lining up. I'm looking at the top and the bottom of the die cut on my silicone mat there and I'm gonna press down evenly and then you'll see this is the look I'll hold it up closer so you can see this is what it I'll hold up my silicone mat so you can see it this is what it's supposed to look like that is the the way that the stamps were designed to go together it kind of gives that illusion almost like a little bit of depth to it right so there's our our um milkshake mug uh glass sorry <laughs> now on here we're going to use this die cut kind of looks like a moon not a moon a cloud i'm going to zoom in a little tiny bit and we're going to do this we're going to do our first rock and roll technique on here and i'm going to make this one a strawberry technique strawberry uh rock and roll so i've got blushing bride and sweet sorbet as my colors so when you do the rock and roll technique you want to start with a light color and then we're going to we're going to we're going to rock and roll, but basically we're going to roll. We're not going to rock anything. We're going to roll. <laughs> let's say, let's just, I'll just show you what we're going to do. You can call it what you want, but you can rock, I guess, rock in the light and then roll in the dark. Okay. So I'm going into the, the blushing bride and then I'm taking the stamp and I'm very, very gently, very gently going to roll the edges of it into my sweet sorbet very very gently like that so you're just getting edge ink along the edges okay and then you're going to come over here over top of your die cut and then stamp and then you're going to get that two-tone kind of look that you get with you know you can you can add color to the inside the outside no ice cream is homogeneous right so this is our this could be whatever flavor you want you can change it up you can make all different diff different combinations of ice cream so this is our ice cream that's going to go on the top of our glass like this and the easiest way to do it i think is to take our straw stampin up is just they knocked it out of the park with these look they even put a little slit right here in the die cut Hello, Hildy. Thank you for joining us. Hello, hello. So I'm going to slip that um, straw down into the slit. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to add my glue to the back. And I'm just going to come around the bottom of this um, ice cream die cut. And then I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to lay it right on top of the glass. Isn't that fun? And then, of course, we can't complete this without our cherry. So let's put the cherry on top. I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. Thank you so much, Melanie. Yes, yes, yes. You can come back. These will be here. Yeah. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Exactly. Christine, <laughs> these will, this will, this recording will stay here on YouTube as long as YouTube will allow it hopefully forever. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for joining us. Okay. So there's our milkshake. How stinking cute is that? Right. With the two tone on the ice cream. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to add dimensionals to the whole entire thing. So I've made a complete unit if you will <laughs> and we're going to just bring in some dimensionals i'm going to use three dimensionals and you can actually put your dimensional right over top of where that straw was attached just to hold that in place and then we'll oh, just i'm going to peel off the backing and leave this here for a second and we're going to stamp our greeting on here we have this inside heart 
and I'm going to stamp, you're the cherry on top. <laughs> I'm going to stamp that with soft suede, okay? So you could use soft suede or you can use um, early espresso if you like. Either of our darker colors. I mean, even memento would work if you have that. But I'm going to stamp with soft suede on here. And then I'm going to mount that right onto our matching scallop heart. I love these punches. This punch pack is like amazing, right? When you purchase the heart punch uh, pack, it's a, I think it's called punch pack. You get both of them. You get both punches, right? So who doesn't love layering punches? Love, love, love it. Okay, so we've got that. Yes, Bonnie, I love this technique too. Now, a little bit about the rock and roll technique. I'm doing it here with the ice creams, but you know what? It looks fantastic with leaves. Like in the fall, if you you know how leaves are always multicolored, right? You can totally rock and roll a, a solid leaf stamp. So that's one big one big thing you want to remember is that it's important to have a solid stamp so that the stamp has lots of surface area for you to pick up the ink. Something with a line, all kinds of lines on it, you're not going to get the effect as well. So make sure you pick a stamp from your collection that has solid image. So I'm going to take this lattice, I'm going to lay it on my grid, uh, my silicone mat, and I'm going to come in with my glue, and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to like the um, intersections of these lines. Not all of them, just a few, because this liquid glue is going to hold it, right? It's going to hold it down. Plus, I'm also going to put it in the center. Let me move this off to the side and bring back our card front. I'm going to put it on the diagonal in the center of my card, like so. I'm just going to tap that in place. And then my milkshake is going to sit right here. So that's actually anchoring that down too. So I'm not worried about that lattice moving anywhere. And then I'm going to put my You're the Cherry on top on this side. How fun is that? I love it. Okay, so there's our second card using the Share a Milkshake. So it was our first time using the um, rock and roll technique. We're going to do it again on another card. Usually when I do my technique classes, I just do one card, but I just couldn't stop with this rock and roll technique because I kept thinking of other ice creams, like, oh, what combinations could I use, right? So here's the inside of my card in here. I'm, I'm again going to leave it blank, um, but you can stamp. Let me just look at my sample. I can't remember if I did stamp something on the inside. No, I didn't. <laughs> so, but you can. This, these are your cards, guys, and you have that adorable stamp set. So there's lots of fun images that you could put on the inside here. You could put some hearts. You could put you know, life is sweeter because of you. Life is sweet, sweeter with you. That could go on the inside. So possibilities are endless with this stamp set. All right, there's our second card. Let's move on to my third card, which is my favorite. Absolutely my favorite card. We are going to make the card in your package with the crumb cake card base, okay? So when you open this one up, I actually have all the pieces in a little Ziploc bag just because there were so many little pieces, as I mentioned before. So I slide this over. Um, we've got our crumb cake card base, regular size card base, and we've got basic white. We're gonna we're gonna work with the front layer before we put it down onto the card. So in my package, I'm just gonna open this up, take all of my pieces out, and we have DSP. We have some designer series paper from the country floral lane. Can you recognize those patterns? Christine's going to be teaching a class tomorrow night. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that class. You probably have signed up for that one, the country floral lane class. This paper is, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful and you can use it for anything, right? Okay, so let's put this, this one's going on the the left side of your card and this one's going to go across the front of the card. So let's go ahead and just get our glue on here and we'll put these in place. Please leave me a comment if I'm going too fast or you want any clarification of what I'm doing. This is your class, you guys, so I want you guys to be very clear on how to put your cards together. So any comments or questions you have, please post them here or private message me or Christine. We'll help you out. Okay, so we're putting it like that. Isn't that fun? Okay, so then in your kit, you're going to have a little piece of the burlap ribbon. Now this ribbon comes in a package of two. There's a real red um, ribbon in it as well, but we're just using the burlap one. Let me show you 
what that looks like. So when you purchase this, you get two spools. You get the red and you get the burlap, okay? But we're just using a little bit of the burlap. And that's just gonna wrap right around the front of the card here. Okay, so right around this striped piece, just for a little accent. Now you can attach it at the back. I like to use a little bit of scotch tape. You could use some tear and tape. You could use, um, let's see, what else could you use? You could use washi tape if you have it. Whatever you normally use to attach your ribbon, you're not gonna see it because it's at the back here. So I'm just using a little tiny bit of scotch tape to adhere it. Wrap it around, making sure it's straight. There we go. Okay, so now I can actually do my stamping and put this on my card front. So for this card, I've just pulled in the little word celebrate. I'm gonna stamp that right down here in the bottom right-hand corner. And for that one, I'm going to use um, early espresso. Let's use a darker brown. The other card I used um, soft suede, but we're gonna use early espresso on this one. So that's gonna sit down here like that there we go and now we can go ahead and put that onto the card front and then we're going to make a we're going to make our um what am i trying to say banana split <laughs> that's what we're making today we're making a banana split on this card okay so we're just going to put a little bit of glue when you're working with this liquid glue and especially on white cardstock you want to make sure you're using just a tiny tiny bit even that glob right there is a bit thick. So what happens on white cardstock, it'll ripple. It'll dry in a ripple and then you'll see it on the front. So what I like to do is take my silicone mat, if you've got any globs like that, not a very technical word, but I think you get the gist, right? So I'm just <laughs> getting that bigger, thicker glue off on my silicone mat and then I can wipe that up later. But there's nothing any worse than making a beautiful card and then looking at it and when it dries, you see this like ripple coming through because you've used too much liquid glue, right? So use your liquid glue sparingly because it is super, super strong. Okay, so here we go. We've got that on the front. Oh my gosh, it's it's gorgeous just like that. But we've there's more, there's a whole lot more. Let's open up this and I'll show you the pieces. So the bowl for our um, banana split was made using the oval die from the, um, oh gosh, what's the name of that new die set? The Floral Shapes? No, that's not. It's this die cut right here. Um, let me grab my catalog and I'll tell you the proper name. <laughs> Instead of guessing, I can't remember the name of it. It is the brand new one that came out in November framed florets it's the framed florets dies on page 65 of the mini catalog okay so if you didn't get those oh my gosh they are stunning so they are paired with the frame florets bundle the it, the flame the framed florets stamp set so when you cut this oval shape out you get the inside piece and you also get the outside rings. Look at these. I have a whole collection of these sitting on my desk ready to be used. <laughs> and then, so you get the outside ring with the little stitches or the little marks in them. So beautiful, right? So what I, that's what I did. So this is the outside. So I cut this piece of DSP from the country, from the country gingham DSP. And I've, I've got this ring for later. And then I took this inside oval and I put it in my paper trimmer and I cut it in half. So I just want to explain how I did that so that you know how to make this again if you want to make one, make one. And then I use my foil sheets to do this little cut, little dish. But what I'm going to do is turn it over and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top of that, okay? And I'm going to show you how to make those bananas in a second. <laughs> so we've got, when you cut your foil, I cut a spoon and I also cut this little dish. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the top portion of this. And then I'm going to bring my bowl in and lay it at the top and that give that a second. It'll glue together. So let's move that over to the side. Now my spoon is going to go into my ice cream scoops. So let's grab my silicone mat. Now it's messy. I've got glue on here. I can see I have ink on here. So I'm just going to give this a quick wipe with my baby wipe here and clean this up so that we can stamp our um, ice creams. So if you have your scrap white that Christine sent you or 
these already cut out. Either way will work. I'm going to show you three different um, color combinations for some more ice creams here. So let's bring in our color combos. So I've got, let's do the Blushing Bride and the Sweet Sorbet because I've got those open. I'm going to use the same stamp. Now, when you do your rock and roll technique and you're going to do another one, make sure you clean your stamp because you don't want to put Sweet Sorbet ink back into your um, Blushing Bride, right? Because you'll contaminate your Blushing Bride and you don't want that. So always start with the light color and then you roll in the darker color. Okay, so there's my Sweet Sorbet. This is my strawberry ice cream. I'm going to stamp that one right there. Now I'm going to put this off to the side and I'm going to clean with my chamois. Let's bring my chamois in and I'm going to grab my second color combination. My second color combination is going to be a chocolate ice cream. So for chocolate, we got to start off with a light chocolate, which I've chose crumb cake for my light. And then I'm going to roll it in my soft suede. Okay, so we're going to we're going to go crumb cake. And then we're just going to gently roll the edges in soft suede and we're going to stamp on here like so. And there we have chocolate. Now I could have got a little bit more on the edge. Every time you do it is different. And you know what? That's just stamping, right? Like it's never always the same image. You can play around with it and make it darker if you wanted to. And then for my third color, my third flavor, if you will, is going to be vanilla or it could be pineapple depending on what you're into. <laughs> we're gonna start with our so, so Saffron and we're gonna roll it in Daffodil Delight to make our, I think maybe this would be pineapple. Pineapple ice cream? Who knows? There's a million different flavors of ice cream, right? <laughs> so So Saffron and then we're gonna just gently roll it in Daffodil Delight and then we're just gonna hover over our image and stamp and there we have it. Oh, it's got, it looks really solid, but that's okay. It's going to be tucked in the back anyway. This is our banana split we're making. So let's close up these ink pads and we're going to glue all this together and make our banana split. And let me put these on. So let's bring in our, our milk sh or our <laughs> banana split dish <laughs> and we're going to put these on. So the strawberry and the chocolate are going to be in the front and the pineapple or vanilla will be in the back like that. And they all have the slits in them. So if you don't want them exposed, you can just creatively cover them up. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my liquid glue. I'm going to go across the top of my bowl like that. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to put the chocolate one right here. I'm going to bring in the strawberry one, but first I want to take that spoon and I'm going to put the spoon right just barely. I want it to still look like a spoon, so I'm just going to like stick it like that. And then I'm just going to put this on. Let's move it over. See, this is the other reason I like liquid glue because you can actually move things around. So let's move that over. And then I'm going to put my strawberry right here. You can move it closer if you want to cover up the slit. I call it a slit, the little line <laughs> in the the chocolate ice cream. You can move your ice cream over so that it's covering up overlapping. And then the pineapple or the vanilla can just get tucked in behind and you see how that they're not exposed anymore. So let's just put our glue on here. And I'm just gonna slide this one at the back. And then when I don't see that, I'm going to press it down, okay? So that's our one complete piece. I can lift up and put a little bit more glue back here. There we go. Okay, so there's our banana split. Now I want to put the cherry on the top of that uh, vanilla ice cream at the back. I'm going to put the cherry there. I have my bananas done, but I want to share with you how to make these bananas. So I've got one that's going to go this way and I got one that's going to go this way. I'm going to put my glue on. I'll glue these down and then I'll show you how to make one. They're super easy to make. So we're just going to put the glue. I'm going to take this whole thing. I'm going to just like lay it on top of that banana <laughs> and then come over here and lay it on top of this banana like that. And there we have our banana split. <laughs>
Okay, so this is going to go on to the card front with dimensionals. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, I really, really love, love, love this, this bundle. So you can use lots and lots of dimensionals. I'm probably going to use five. So one in the center, one on each end, and then one down here on the bottom of the banana split dish. My sunshine is shining right in my room here. It's afternoon here in Calgary. <laughs> and my sunshine, the sunshine changes the lighting in my room. So I hope you guys can see. I'll try and put this right into the bright light here. Um, this is going to sit right here on the front of the card. There we have it, you guys. A banana split ready to go. And we have our piece for the inside right here. So again, I didn't stamp anything on here, but I want you guys to use your creativity and your stamp set to put whatever you want on the inside. Your, it says celebrate on the front, so it can be for anyone, any occasion. It could even be a birthday invitation if you wanted it to be. So there's our three cards. I'm going to put these off to the side. I'm going to share with you how to make that banana. So I have a piece of scrap uh, so saffron. I'm bringing in the tulip builder punch. Yes, the tulip. You're probably thinking, what? Tulips? <laughs> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide this in. I'm going to just chop out a little piece, okay? So we're going to chop out the leaf like that. Then I'm going to come back in with the punch. I want to use this curvature that I've made. <laughs> Your husband's favorite dessert, Linda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so fun. My, I, you know what? It's mine. My husband's too. My husband has the biggest sweet tooth. Oh, my gosh. Whenever we go out, I know he always, if I were to say, let's have dessert first, he'd be, he'd be all over it. I know he would. <laughs> so there is our shape that we get and you can come back in here and you can make multiple bananas right until you kind of lose the shape and then you could just come over here and you can chunk out another side of your so saffron and then just keep on going so basically this is what I have here I have these shapes so I just snipped them down so I wanted one banana pointing that way and I wanted one banana pointing that way I literally took my snips and I came in here and I snipped them so they could look more like bananas. I just snipped the bottoms off and threw out the bottom pieces here. And I brought in any kind of a marker or blend or anything that you have. A Sharpie would work. And I'm just going to add a little teeny tiny little bit of black to the tips to make them look more like bananas. And there we have it. That's it. <laughs> Super easy, right? That's how you make your little bananas for your banana split. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I hope that this was a clear um, video that you could understand how to do the rock and roll technique. And I hope you will enjoy this stamp set. Oh my gosh, it is definitely a keeper. I think the dies are really what knocks it out of the park. The stamp set's amazing by itself, but when you bring in all those amazing dies with that waffle the waffle and these little cones here. Oh my gosh. And the cherries and the hot hot fudge on the top. They're all amazing. Thank you so much, Marsha. Thank you everyone for your wonderful comments. I'm so happy that you like these cards. Thank you, Angela. I love them and I can't wait to make more. I'm trying to stay out of my light here. <laughs> so I'm going to just flip you back around and <laughs> hopefully you can still see me. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, my gosh. It was such an, an, an honor to join you today for our very first technique class, Christine and I, a collaborative class. And um, I hope you will have fun doing these cards. If you watched today, if you just enjoyed watching and you're going to go back, the replay will be here on my YouTube channel. You could come back and fast forward, re rewind, and pause. And uh, thank you all for your wonderful comments. You are so kind. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, enjoy your stamp set. Enjoy the dies and keep on, keep on stamping. <laughs> thank you for joining me today. I'm just reading your comments. Oh, you guys are so kind. <laughs> I wish you all a great rest of your day. And please let me know if you have any other questions. And I hope you will come back and join us again next month for Technique Club. We can't, oh, I promised I would show you the cards. Maybe I'll just keep the camera like this and I'll hold them up. Is that okay, Christine? Are you here? <laughs> um, if you want me to flip the camera back down, I can. 
Um, so next month, we are going to be featuring a stamp set that is it's still going to be celebration, right? It's um, February, and we still have the whole month to celebrate. And the stamp set that I'm going to be featuring, that we are going to be featuring, is the Beautifully Happy. Oh my gosh, this stamp set knocks it out of the park. It is amazing with the two-step stamping with the florals and you get the inside pieces to stamp your leaves your blooms everything and the greetings are really really truly amazing so we're going to focus on this stamp set so you're definitely going to want to save your pennies or make your order if hopefully maybe you already have this one but if you haven't you want to grab this one on celebration it's free i believe in the states in the united states it's a free with a hundred dollar purchase and in Canada, it's free with the $120 purchase. Um, if you don't have this set, you don't want to buy this set, I'm sure you have other florals you could substitute, right? So you can still participate in the Technique Club without this set, but I think you really want this set. I think you're going to need it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Susan. Okay, so I got, I'm going to bring in my cards here. I want to share with you that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a technique and it's called the twisted ribbon technique. Have you heard of this technique? This is the card, one of the cards we're going to do. This is our feature technique card you, and I'm going to show you how to do the twisted ribbon technique. And we got some embossing, white embossing on here and then the beautiful floral with the calypso coral. And we have another card here using Blushing Bride. And again, this is um, DSP from Celebration, okay? So it's all about celebrating. We're gonna kick Celebration off with a bang. <laughs> We're gonna say goodbye to Celebration with a bang in February. So this paper here, this is on the farm. This is the on the farm celebration paper, but we're using it because it goes with the florals, right? This was Christine's idea, this little strip here. So thank you, Christine, for that idea. Um, so we're using that one. So this is one, two, and the third card, we're using even more celebration paper. This paper here is the Dainty, Dainty Designs. I think it's called Dainty Designs. Let me see. <laughs> I've got the package right here. Yes, Dainty Flowers, Dainty Flowers DSP, right? This is this DSP. And we're gonna make this one. This is kind of a fun fold with a tuck. We're gonna tuck it in here like that. It's kind of a fun fold with um, featuring two of the in colors, gorgeous in colors, Fresh Freesia and Starry Sky. And again, we have a single floral and that B. We have to do the B, right, for Christine. <laughs> so there we have it, you guys. These are the three cards for our Technique Club next month so if you're not a part of the club you did you missed out in january you're going to want to join us in february it's going to be a blast and you're going to love this technique and this one also shows paper this is the favored flowers designer series paper from celebration so three different celebration papers and one celebration stamp set we're going to feature it all next month all right thank you all for joining me um if you don't have any other questions i'm going to say farewell for now and oh, thank you, Becky. I'm looking forward to next month too. I can't wait. So remember, if you're in the United States, please reach out to Christine Bertram. Christine is here. Um, I believe she's still here. You can message her. You can check her out on the um, on the internet, on her website at Cards by Christine and sign up with her. If you are in Canada, you can reach out to me. My website is rosecoleman.com and you can send me an email, rosecoleman at shaw.ca. We'll post all of this in the comment section of this video and then you can connect with one of us and we can all have fun together no matter where we are. Okay, thank you so much everyone for such a lovely day afternoon with you. And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for watching. And again, just reach out to one of us if you would like to join this amazing class every month. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.